To celebrate 25 years of Niox technology, we're telling the Pheno story. The tale of a chance discovery that led to an incredible medical breakthrough. Pheno testing has gone on to help improve the quality of life of people suffering with asthma. Here's how it all began. It's 1991. At the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden, scientists are investigating the strengths of nitric oxide, or NO, as a signalling molecule in the body. One team is particularly interested in the lungs. The scientists realise there is NO in exhaled air, and it can be blocked with an NO synthase inhibitor. There must be an enzyme generating NO in the lungs. They test their theory with a chemiluminescence machine. Each scientist exhales into the machine to see how the NO measurements work. By chance, they notice that those who have asthma exhale much larger amounts of NO than those who do not. Due to enzyme activity, NO increases with airway inflammation, which is a key characteristic of type 2 asthma. This type of asthma accounts for up to 93% of cases, and these scientists had just discovered a non-invasive and simple way to help find it. Pheno testing was born, a safe and accurate way to test airway inflammation. By 1997, the scientists had started developing a machine that could test pheno levels. In 1998, the first Niox machine was ready. It was around one and a half meters high, heavy, and moved around on wheels. That same year, work to uncover the use of NO as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system was awarded a Nobel Prize. A year later, the American Thoracic Society published recommendations on measuring NO and using it in the clinic. The year 2000 saw Niox technology evolve significantly. The next machine was a desktop device and worked with a chemiluminescence technique. It launched in Europe that same year and was approved by the FDA in 2003. Focus turned to designing an even smaller device based on electrochemical NO detection. The result was Niox Mino. No larger than a coffee pot, the Niox Mino was released in Europe in 2005 and approved in the US in 2008. The scientists had done it and given the asthma community the world's first portable pheno testing device. This was a big step, but the next one was a giant leap. In 2013, Niox Mino evolved into the Niox Vero we know today, a small but accurate pheno testing device that can sit on the physician's desk and that's portable to maximize access to pheno testing. Niox Vero was a significant upgrade, featuring improved functional design and engaging visual and audio guides for flow rate control to help patients complete the test. What's more, Niox filters achieve excellent efficiency, with independent tests confirming viral filtration over 99.97% and bacterial filtration over 99.99%. Niox Vero remains the pheno device of choice worldwide. In the early days of pheno testing, scientists also discovered that measuring nasal NO, known as NNO, could help with the diagnosis of a rare disease known as primary ciliary dyskinesia, or PCD. Diagnosing PCD had meant up to 50 appointments for 70% of patients, but testing NNO with Niox Vero can make diagnosis simpler. This meant that by 2017, the world had access to a device that could test pheno and NNO at the point of care. Niox Vero could do it all. Today, major national and international guidelines include recommendations for pheno testing in asthma care. Studies on pheno testing have found that a diagnosis of asthma is seven times more likely when pheno levels are 40 parts per billion or more. In addition, using pheno testing to manage treatment reduces asthma attacks by up to 50%. Niox technology has also helped show that pheno is a strong predictor of exacerbations. Levels over 25 parts per billion are associated with a two and a half times greater risk. 
25 years of NIOX technology. Here's to another 25 years of helping improve diagnosis and management to help the millions of people suffering with asthma.